Hello boys and girls! Welcome to Arts and Crafts for Summer Reading. I'm Miss Susan and I'm glad you're here today. Today we're going to be making Goldilocks and the Three Bears puppets. You'll notice I only have two bears because I'm going to make the third one with you today. I've got Goldilocks and here's Mama Bear and Baby Bear. Notice they're a little bit different in coloring. I've got several different colors of brown crayons and I think I'll use even another color, the dark one maybe, for Papa Bear. So I'll need my brown crayons and I'm using the tiniest little paper plates that I could find at the grocery store and um, I'll be needing some tape. I have my bear tape dispenser. I'll need markers and scissors. I even used some yarn for the hair on Goldilocks and I'll need something for a stick on the back to be a handle to hold on to my puppet. I used tongue depressors. If you don't have these, you could use a popsicle stick. You could even use a chopstick if you have some of those hanging around the house. Or just something like a big straw. Anything that you can tape to the back of your paper plate to be the handle. So you'll need the tape for that. And I used some brown paper to make my bare ears. All right, and glue. Almost forgot to mention you'll need glue. So I started out with my paper plate and I went ahead and colored the whole front surface with my crayons. So I'm gonna do that first. And Papa Bear, like I said, is gonna be a little bit darker brown. Some bears are light brown, some are dark brown. And I thought it might make them look a little bit different where you could distinguish who is who if you use different colors. But you don't have to do that. You can make them all the same color. And you could cut your circle a little bit smaller, cut the plate into a little bit smaller circle if you wanted to for Baby Bear. I just left them the same size, but you don't have to do that. Any way you wanna do it is fine. So now I have Papa Bear's face all brown with his brown fur. And I'm gonna use a black marker to make his big eyes. And I like to make kind of big oval shapes. And then I'm gonna fill him in with his pupils. And he looks pretty surprised. And then I do an upside down triangle. And sometimes I kind of round off the corners, but there I made the triangle. And you can go back around and kind of smooth out the corners for his nose. And then his mouth, we've done these before. They're the fish hooks, one going one way and one going the other way, or like a J and a backwards J. So there's his face. And now he's gonna need his ears. If you have some brown construction paper, just fold a little piece in half so that you can cut both ears at the same time and they'll match. And I'm just gonna cut mine kind of circular. His ears might be a little bigger than the other two bears' ears since he's Papa Bear. And you'll need a little piece of tape to go on the back. And just tape it on like that and one more ear there you go and I'm going to go ahead and tape on my tongue depressor right in the middle down low on the back of the plate and there's Papa Bear Mama Bear has a cute little hat you could be creative and cut out whatever color hat you want or put a bow in her hair or just a flower stuck near her ear. And then, of course, there's Baby Bear and he's kind of a light brown. And then I made Goldilocks with golden yarn and I even tried to put a little purple blouse on her with a little uh, blue ribbon down there at the bottom. And I gave her some eyelashes and some rosy cheeks. You can make Goldilocks look any way you like to. 
and then you can put on a puppet show with your friends or your family. And when you come to the library, I hope you'll check out Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's retold by Jim Islesworth and illustrated by Barbara McClintock. Goldilocks and the Three Bears is retold and illustrated by Jan Brett. And she did a great job on this one. Her, her illustrations are beautiful. She also did another bear story called Three Snow Bears, and this is a variation on the same story, but it's uh, told in Alaska with an igloo instead of a little house in the woods, and a little Eskimo girl loses her sled dogs and goes looking for them and winds up in the igloo where uh, the three snow bears live, but you can see it's a little bit different than your traditional version of the story. There are her dogs and the igloos. And of course, Jan Brett does beautiful illustrations. Here's another version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Valerie Gorbachev. She does the illustrations and retells the story. And this one has the most charming illustrations. I just love Ruth Sanderson's Goldilocks. I'm gonna show you a few of the pictures in here. Her illustrations are just magnificent. And Goldilocks is dressed kind of in a um, Scandinavian type outfit and, and the, the furniture looks a lot, a, lot, a lot like you would see in the movie Frozen with all that ornate decorative kind of toll painting. I'll just show one or two more of the pictures, but she really does a beautiful job with the illustrations in this book. I hope you'll come to the library to get a Goldilocks and the Three Bears book and make your own puppet show. Thank you so much for joining me today. So long.